All right, the Ed Excel papers seem to have an ionic equation every year on them. So it's worth having a go at them. They are difficult. Uh, best way to have a go at ionic equations is to, is to get the uh, normal symbol equation out first. So we've got magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid. So I'm just going to do the straightforward symbol equation for this one. Magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid. Uh, this is what this looks like. Okay. Now, um, let's put some state symbols in here as well, because that's important. Solid, aqueous, uh, aqueous, and gas. Now, the rule for uh, ionic equations is we can ignore an ion, a substance that doesn't change its charge or its state. Okay, so immediately, magnesium solid, magnesium aqueous. Magnesium's got to go into the ionic equation because it's changing from solid to aqueous. Uh, it'd be useful before we go any further to put some charges in on the ions here. Now, magnesium is an element here, so no charge. Elements don't have charge. Uh, we've got hydrochloric acid. Well, that's made of hydrogen ions, and chlorine is in group seven of the periodic table. So it's got seven electrons in its outer shell, so it wants to gain one electron when it's uh, forming an ion. So if it's getting one electron, it's got a single negative charge. Magnesium, uh, in an ionic compound here. Magnesium is in group two of the periodic table, two electrons on its outer shell, so it wants to lose those two electrons, so it forms a two plus charge. Chloride ions, single negative charge. Hydrogen here is covalent, so covalent substances are not charged. Okay, so we're looking to ignore any ion that doesn't change its charge or its state. So magnesium solid, so magnesium aqueous, wasn't charged, is charged. Magnesium definitely going in, Mg. Plus, right, hydrogen ions. We've got hydrogen ions here, aqueous, become hydrogen, not charged, gas. Well, that's definitely going in then because that's not changing either. Uh, H plus, and we can put the hydrogen there straight away as well. We put the Mg in, didn't we, here? Um, chloride ions, Cl minus aqueous. Okay, Cl minus aqueous. Well, they're not changing their charge, Cl minus, Cl minus, or their state, aqueous, aqueous. So we're going to ignore those. So we had two hydrogen ions there. That was Mg2+. plus. Now, because the magnesium we're writing without the chloride, uh, we do need to put the charge on that ion there, uh, plus H2. Right, let's just check that's all right. Yeah, looks good. There is our ionic equation. All these questions on elshamhighchemistry.com.